I've been wanting to put together a how-to video that shows a relatively uh, cheap FPV system that I've been working on for my quadcopter. It's the NASA with this X550 camera mount. And as part of it, I'm using the GoPro. And actually, it's the GoPro HD Hero 2. If you look on the side, there's a video out or TV out port. And, you know, under normal circumstances, you're going to want to use, you know, have a, a separate camera for your aerial photography or video, um, you know, isolated from your actual FPV camera. But in this case, we can, the neat thing about the uh, GoPro is that you can actually use it for both uh, aerial video as well as video out for your FPV set setup. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, before we get started, I just want to show you the different components and then we can talk through how the components uh, are connected and set up. And I'll post a build log with the various components in the video description. So we'll start with the video monitor. The neat thing about this guy, it's relatively cheap. It's about, I think, 55 bucks uh, on Amazon. It's, it's battery powered, which is great. So, uh, you know, I think this video time is anywhere from four to six hours. Uh, it's got AV inputs. So that's what our uh, receiver will connect to to display uh, video. We have the uh, RC305 receiver from Hobby King. Actually, it's the RC305 receiver that I purchased from gotheliRC.com. So, uh, a little bit more expensive when you get it from those guys, but you don't pay for as much shipping if you're here in the U.S., and uh, you generally get it quicker. And this is the TS351 uh, video transmitter. So as part of, the, of this transmitter, you have a video cable, and you'll notice that I pulled out the red, white, and green connectors. You can just use a little exacto and push in on these pins and pull them out. So really, all you need are the uh, ground and the video out wire. And so the key to this guy is um, this $12 connector that I got from ReadyMade RC and I soldered in this header pin to, to connect to the servo lead but uh, brown is your ground and orange is your signal so this guy connects to your GoPro and uh, broadcast video out the transmitter and down to the receiver and as I mentioned the GoPro is great because with this guy plugged in the AV port, not only do you get video out, you still can record at the same time. For the transmitter, you'll notice the JST connector. Uh, connector. I believe uh, the operating voltage on this guy is anywhere from 7 to 15 volts. So I have a 2S uh, LiPo 800 milliamp that I use uh, to power this guy. On the receiver side of things, you actually get some AV cables that come with it. So you'll see you have two AV out ports. So connect, you can use either one. And uh, that's what I feed into the, the video display. And you get a DC input cable that I have wired to a fixed uh, power supply, but this operates on 12 volts. And just be careful, I've read in the uh, RC groups forums that you have different versions of this um, receiver. So in some cases, I believe it's a five volt input, but uh, the manual should specify what you need. One other point before we actually build this thing and, and do a quick test, I mentioned the manual and one thing to keep in mind, I had a tremendous time trying to figure out my frequency settings. You'll notice the different channels, channel one, two, three. I'm on channel three, and you'll notice, you know, the switch settings on the actual uh, receiver, the sticker on the receiver. But if you look in the manual for channel three, I mean, the the switch settings don't even match up. I, I couldn't figure it out. So there's a good thread on RC groups that talk 
about the uh, channel settings, but let me just say that it, it makes no sense at all. And so if you look at, and, and you'll read in the forums, you'll understand that. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to post and I'll help you where I can. But if you look at this, uh, my channel settings, I have one and two on for the uh, receiver. And then for the transmitter, you'll notice that I have the same switch is toggled. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Let's try. See, one and two are on in that case, and on is the actual uh, switch, switches are up. So, and that actually represents channel three. I don't know how that makes any sense, but after reading that forum post, I went ahead and gave it a try, and um, everything worked perfectly. And according to the manual, if you're on channel three, I believe you're operating at, uh, let's see, 5665 megahertz. So if that means anything to you and your setup, then go ahead and do that. Okay, with the channel settings out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and do this build. So for starters, let's start you know, at the quad level. We have the uh, GoPro our AV cable, and actually I purchased the uh, video only cable because I wasn't too concerned about hearing my motor spinning uh, in my video, so we'll go ahead and connect that. And you'll notice, you know, the solder connection here, I'll actually heat shrink that at some point. So we'll connect this uh, piece right here to the uh, to the transmitter and that should just clip right in. So now we have our GoPro hooked up to our transmitter. Okay, on the I won't power it just yet. And on the receiving side of side of things, we have the AV out. Our yellow for video and I have a little extension cable. This is, extension cable is useful because both on the uh, outputs from the receiver and the inputs on the um, LCD or the video monitor are both female, so I have a male connector on both ends, so we'll go ahead and wire that up. Okay, so basically we have all of our connections made, and now it's just a matter of powering the system and giving it a test. Okay, so for starters, we'll power the receiver. I have a 12 volt, actually a variable uh, power supply that's set to 12 volts. And I'll plug that into the DC input connector. And then for the transmitter, the JST connector will connect to the 2S 800 milliamp LiPo. So you can see the uh, red LED it's lit up and ready to go. So we'll set that right over here. I'll go ahead and power on the uh, receiver with the 12 volts from my power supply. And you should be able to notice the red LED. Okay, we're lit up and ready to go. Okay, next step is let's go ahead, we'll go ahead and power on the GoPro. GoPro is on video mode. So now we should just be able to power on our display. And you'll notice we have video. Now I haven't tested the range on this just yet, 
So um, I've read kind of mixed reviews, but I'll post a video follow up uh, pretty soon that shows both the range and some of the um, footage that I've taken uh, using FPV. And obviously the next step will probably be to look into some sort of goggles, but for now this this display is quite handy and uh, you know broadcast in full color um, 720p so that should be good for now. That's it. Um, if you have any questions please feel free to post and let me know and um, as I mentioned I think the biggest challenge in this whole setup really is getting your uh, channel configuration set and once you do that you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps you out and good luck with your FPV setup.